expand your mind with Orange County Public Television, KOCE and KOCE HD. Real Orange is made possible by the following. Support for KOCE is provided by Minute Clinic with board certified practitioners. No appointment necessary. Most insurance plans accepted and open seven days a week in a CVS pharmacy near you. Minute Clinic, treating common illnesses for families. Information at MinuteClinic.com. Real Orange is next on your PBS station, KOCE. Coming up, the life and times of Arizona Senator, presidential contender, and family man, Barry Goldwater, in a new chapter of Bookmark. Top cops from across Orange County are honored at the Peace Officer of the Year Awards. Plus, resurrecting the Rocky Horror Picture Show and the Orange County movie house that gave it life. Join us for those stories and more coming up next right here on Real Orange. Thanks for joining us. I'm Ed Arnold. And I'm Ann Felice. Coming up on this edition of Real Orange, the Ocean Institute goes overboard to make sure kids from low-income schools get to see the deep blue sea. And Register Outdoors columnist David Whiting shares his list of the top five trips you can take in Orange County on one gallon of gas. Thousands of cars and trucks are stolen every year in Orange County, but thanks to the efforts of law enforcement... All right, there's probably uh, more than just a few adults out there in our audience who, in their younger years maybe, remember going to see the midnight showing of the Rocky Horror Picture Show at the classic Balboa Theater. Well, the Saturday night screenings were famous for the audience one-liners and crowd participation, but all that came to an end in 1991 when the movie house closed down. In an effort to bring the Balboa Theater back to life, a Rocky Horror Picture Show party is being planned at the Balboa Pavilion. Joining us now with more on the event from the Balboa Performing Arts Theater, we welcome Mark Stenroos and the producer and a cast member from the Rocky Horror Performance Group, Midnight Insanity, Mark Tomeno. We're glad to have you both on. Great to be here. Yeah, thanks. Thanks, thanks for coming on. Uh, the two Marks. Now, um, mm -hmm. Mark, you you would play the part of that meatloaf had in the Eddie, show, that's right? right? Eddie. Yeah. <laughs> I'm glad you came as Thank Eddie you. and not the woman or yeah, the guy or whoever well. it was. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> not ready for PBS quite right. yet. Um, talk a little bit about uh, the status as it is now of, of the theater. Well, as you said, the theater went dark in 91, mm -hmm. and the Rocky Horror uh, picture was shown as an evergreen there for years and years. Um, we're now in the process of raising funds to reopen the theater as a small performing arts theater, movie house, mm -hmm. convention, small convention center. Uh, we're right there on the beach in Newport, which is great. It gives yeah. us a real uh, distinctive quality that other performing centers don't have in Orange County. Right. So we thought, why not look back at our roots? And we came up with this Rocky Horror Show event, mm -hmm. which we're turning into a full-blown uh, maybe not ready for PBS <laughs> party <laughs> right. that we're going to have at the Balboa Pavilion on mm -hmm. Friday, June 13th, starting at 7 p.m. So it's it's a party, but the, the movie will be showing. The movie won't be shown as a screening of the movie. It will be shown as background and atmosphere. Right. Mark's group will be there to um, add atmosphere and other things that we're not allowed to talk about <laughs> right. <on> PBS <laughs> sure. to the party. Family show. Uh, we'll, uh, family show, yes. <laughs> this party maybe isn't a family show, but it will be rocky, uh, living and breathing. It'll be a chance for people who love the theater, love the movie, to get involved and sort of become part of the event and mm -hmm. part of what this movie is all about. Okay, so Mark, explain a little bit more about, well, first of all, what your group does. Well, Midnight Insanity is a volunteer performance group. Uh, about 40 or 50 people. We started in uh, 88 at the Balboa Theater, and uh, after the theater closed, we went to uh, Long Beach, and now we're performing at the Warner Grand uh, in uh, San Pedro. Mm -hmm. But uh, what uh, Rocky Horror is uh, is something that gives people an opportunity to to just get out there and and express themselves in a creative way. I saw the group, and I thought, well, this is really nice people, and they're staying off the street and off drugs, and and let's just help them keep going. Right. You know. And uh, then how, how great it is that, you know, we are able to come back now to Newport Beach mm -hmm. and be part of the resurrection of something that was really to us very important. Sometimes a building is more than just a building. Yes. And the life that was there because of Rocky Horror and the whole the part of the culture, the fun of the fun zone that's, you know, kind of uh, gone to the side a little bit. Yeah. Uh, trying to resurrect that. And I think the Balboa coming back is an important part of that. And we're really proud and happy to be asked to go back and perform. But what we do is... We uh, simultaneously emulate the film, 
So you've got sets on stage, the film, and the audience, and three out of three ain't bad, as the creator said. As the creator. <laughs> the creator of Rocky Horror. That's right. <laughs> that is good. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that is great. Okay, we're running out of time. Um, for, if folks want to go, uh, how much does it cost? What time do they need to be there? Well, we still have a number of sponsorships that we are selling for corporate uh, people who are interested and people who love the theater. And actually, we've almost sold out of those. It's mm -hmm. amazing. Uh, a regular ticket is $150, Great. and that's a donation to the Balboa Theater. That will help us move forward to do our fundraising, to resurrect the theater, mm -hmm. and really bring something down to the peninsula that, that I think the whole community will support. Absolutely. Do we have a website for folks who want to get more information? Yes, we do. Yes. There it is. So if they want to get more information on that, they can uh, give, give that a look and uh, check it out, see how, uh, what time they need to be there, and uh, come dressed, right? Dressed or, come in or otherwise. Come cross-dressed. <laughs> Pre <laughs> preferably cross-dressed. Thank you so Thank much. You. We appreciate you coming Thank on. You. Thank you very much. <laughs> uh, he may have been an action hero on the big screen, but his inaction or inability to save the state from the evils of a deficit has fans and voters.